Well, get it then. You see I'm busy. Hello, man. Have a white man come around here. Last thing he want to do is say hello. Now state your business. Or get the fuck out of my house. Fine. I'm here to speak with Harmony. I need to speak with her alone. This is private. Whatever you gotta say, if you can't say it in front of me, it ain't important enough for you to be in my home. You know the way. <clears throat> I see. Well, my name is Terrence Strong. I'm Cornell's lawyer. Cornell? You have done everything as I could to try to get in touch with that fool. After all, I am taking care of his daughter, you know. And it ain't cheap. You only need to take one look at it to see she don't want for nothing. And now he wants to reach out? What kind of father is he? Ma'am, I'm not here to argue with you, okay? I'm here to tell Harmony, and you, that Cornell is dead. Now, before he passed away, he asked me to come here and do something. That's exactly what I'm here to do. You cop finally got to him, huh? Killing that white cop out of Compton? Harmony, I am so sorry for your loss. And I want you to know that your father spoke very highly of you, and that he loved you very, very much. This is for you from her. I know this ain't all he gave me to take care of her. He didn't give you anything. That money belongs to her. I may be old, but I ain't stupid. Now I know for a fact that that man would have left this child more money than this. He loved her more than both his balls. Sounds like you had a rough life. I got a rough life now. Ain't nothing changed but my age. What happened after you learned that your father died? I don't know. All I know is I hated everything and everybody. I felt it on my body. I felt it in my heart. On my skin. I felt it when I spoke to people. I hated the world because God took the only man who ever loved me. You can never understand what that feels like. I had no one or nobody. There's no such thing as friends. Everybody in this world wants something, whether it be money, sex, or a distraction from their wretched life. And the people who hung around me were no different. You sound bitter. Wasn't shit about it sweet. When you were a teenager, was there anything you could be proud of? If there was one thing I knew, it was how to please a man. Say what you want about my life, but ain't no denying that. So you gonna kiss it from me first this time? What you gonna give me if I do? Now how much you want, Harmony? Stop beating around the bush and just say it. Well, I do need some new clothes for Sean. So about 200 to give me one. 200? You know I gotta take cars to shop the lady, and I know you know that. So she more important to you than me? You know what? Since she's so much more important to you than me, go fuck her instead. I'm out of here. Wait. Wait and I ain't gonna give you none of this good pussy for money with. It ain't even about the money, is it? You just trying to see what I'm willing to give up and how far I go for you. You know what? Maybe we shouldn't see each other no more. Shit getting too serious anyway. Plus, if you can't take care of me like I'm used to being taken care of, then I don't need you. I was just playing, man. No, I can't do without you. Then I feel like it, nigga. You about to make me split on you. I got something to do, lady. You gotta go, so let's fuck. You can be cold as shit, homie. What am I supposed to tell Constance now? That's your problem. But in a minute, you're not about to give a fuck. Who's 
sick and feel? Because it's my business and my life. You think fucking somebody else? You mean other than my man? No, be smart. Parker, what difference does it make? We together now. You always acting like we exclusive when you know the deal. Look how much are you here? No, it's my life that a woman needs sex more than me. Except you. She's raped or something? Maybe you shouldn't. Let me sit down. I had a long couple of days dealing with your man and your boy, Kyle. I fought him too, What happened with Kyle? Hey, he kidnapped a little girl from the elementary school with his father, OJ, some months. You know Kyle J's muscle. I don't know if you've seen this shit all day over the news, but they're talking about him. My fault. Kyle, your boy. You alright? Yeah. I just, I just wasn't expecting that. Now, next time messing around, I have some fun. You definitely one of a kind, homie, Philip. I gotta get a haircut. He was just at the barber shop the other day. It's not enough. A nigga gotta stay fresh. Callie, how come you always coming over without home? If you don't want me to drop by no more, I won't. I ain't say that. I just want to know why you always over here, that's all. Because you need protection. I'm always going to protect you. Unless you do me wrong. What that mean? It means that you got me in your life because you deserve me. And I'm always going to look out for you and be good to you. As long as you treat me right. You're my friend, but I ain't giving you no pussy. I'm talking about loyalty. That's my view. Take that away from me, and you meet your worst enemy. Life. Good James. Damn, that nigga really want purple. Hey, why wasn't you at school today, Harmony? Because I told y'all I dropped out. You thought it was a game. That's all. What are you gonna do about education? Me. That girl, I know. Trip, I'm serious. Oh, you're so fucking green. Education doesn't get you anywhere in life. Didn't you get the memo? What do you mean? The only thing that matters in this world is dick, pussy, and money. Ugh, harmony. I hate when you talk that way. Why you gotta be so raunchy? You call it raunchy, I call it life. And you need to grab a pen and a pad, because I'm about to give you the only lesson you'll ever need. If it ain't helping you make money, or helping you bust a nut, then you don't need it. That goes for education, too. What about the money education makes in the long run? <laughs> Fuck the long run. I need money now. I'm not trying to be in your life or anything, but I do know this. You have for a hard life. God forbid you have kids. Did you just say a hard life? You want to hear about a hard life? Well, let me sue you. Once again, let's start with the fact that my mother was killed in front of me, my father was murdered in prison, my grandmother and my uncle raped me every day in my life, and I got a drug dealer for a boyfriend. So please tell me, Carson, how much harder can life get to me without an education? I gotta know. People rape you? I don't want to talk about it. Just know that I'm good. Mm -hmm. Directly for a second, Cameron. So you just going to ignore me, Jay? Like I'm not even here? We together, you know. Or are you still broke up with me? California. Please tell me it ain't true what I'm hearing. Did you kidnap that little girl over the deck? And if it is, what you gonna do? Tell? Get the impression you take me for a nigga, you can deny answer. You said the nigga stuck you for your paper, so I handed him by snatching his kid. You were supposed to bring me the nigga who ganked us, not his fucking kid, man. And where is she? She tied up in my basement. I handed it though. Not killing no fucking kid, man. Find another way to handle the situation. But that bitch ain't my face. Your problem, not mine. Tell anybody else about it? 
Nigga, I ain't no snitch. Niggas got the opinion, though. Let's go, y'all. Got shit to do. Nothing. So after we do now, we lie to each other. How connected are you to him? Who, Jace? He won't even speak to me. Why? Something would have happened to him in these streets. Would you be alright? 